Hi everyone, today we're going to look into editing this gorgeous portrait of my daughter and I'll show you a unique way how to get this kind of image out of this one and it's extremely easy and those tools and knowledge you can use anywhere in your photography you can use it for the newborns for maternity sessions and i absolutely love it okay first of all what i want to say i shot this image with uh, aperture 5.6 50 mils lens i'm shooting with uh, sigma art iso 400 and my shutter speed was 125. i uh, shot this particular image with natural light this is my um, raw image with no editing I'll just show you what I've got here and I'll explain to you a bit about my settings. Okay, I'll show you what was I had before. This is my before. Look at the temperature, it was 6200 uh, 6, and I adjusted, I just don't want to do it over, I'm just going to go over settings and tell what I've done. Okay, I adjusted my temperature in Kelvin I cooled down the image a bit up to 5600 next I adjust my exposure brighten up image a little bit I usually use the contrast somewhere between 4 and 5 will look great and I raise my highlights and I lower my shadows this is kind of editing contrast more contrast um, I know a lot of photographers using clarity in opposite way, which is where they go minus. I like uh, add the clarity, but it's my just just my personal preference. Dehaze plus five. In some cases, I'm saturate. Um, I desaturate my image, but I'm not gonna do with this particular I'm just I just like it what I see and oh, by the way I use NEC professional monitor it's uh, um, always um, uh, calibrated what I actually and I like and I really like this monitor it's pretty accurate tone curve um, I just lift it up from the middle uh, just a little bit to my taste go down and I worked with camera calibration. I really like how this panel work. If you don't know how this panel work, just watch my previous videos. I do explain about this a lot and I don't want to go, I don't, I don't want to dive right now into this again. But what I've done, I just adjust the red. Basically, if I see, um, in, if I look at the image and I, see, and I see this red overcast, overall image, not just in particular like a skin on my background, I will adjust the hue of a red in this particular settings, camera calibration, and I go somewhere between 2, 10, or sometimes even higher, probably like plus 18, but it always depends on your um, image on your raw image what do you actually see on your monitor and i desaturate a little bit i desaturate the red i work with green primary minus two saturation minus five what this does it's just probably it's just set desaturate your images also but in a very cool way i really suggest you to uh, play around with this settings and you will see how they work it's 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 a truly amazing and blue primary minus two but the key of this kind of look look at this if i set this to zero after all those settings i still gonna have this yellow overcast over my image and this when i go to the panel hue saturation luminosity and adjust my yellow and my settings for this particular image it's minus minus 38. look what happened if i go lower it's going to take uh, yellow out of all image and I don't want my skin to look blemishy. It's not really pretty. Therefore, you have to find uh, this perfect, uh, perfect spot when you still see a full specter of a color in the model face, but you still took this yellowness out of all image. And from this particular image, I find out that it's, it is minus 38. Perfect. When I've done all that, this is what I already like, and I'm gonna work with this image in Photoshop, and you will see the magic. Okay, I'm gonna export my image. 
I'm going to open this in Photoshop. This is already done, but I'll show you again. Okay, here we go. Look at this one. Let's open it. And right now you're going to see the magic happens. What I need to do is just copy the layer, which is Ctrl J. And you go to the panel of um, la um, blending mode and you go to soft light, click OK. And right now click automatic color balance, which is Ctrl Shift B. So this is going to happen. And desaturate this image a little bit. Just go a little bit in here. And this is depends on your preference too. It's no, no uh, magic number. I go probably somewhere minus 38. I like it. And right now you need to adjust the opacity of this layer. We'll go all the way down and try to bring this back up. Okay, somewhere here. Right now we're going to go to this panel and bring the color balance and make sure you click Alt and this little arrow and make sure everything we're going to do in the color balance will affect just the layer you just duplicate. And in the color balance, all you need to do in every single tone, like mid-tone, highlights and shadows, let's go to the shadows, we're going to add some cyan. Go to cyan, mid-tones, cyan, and highlights, cyan. Not too much. Okay. We're going to blend those layers together and look at this before and after. And I think this uh, side of an image, the hair got way too dark. Let's brighten them up. We're just going to put the mask, take the black brush. I will get the 50% and I'm going to get this back, the side. Perfect. I don't want to do on the jacket too much. Probably here's 20%. I like the color. Perfect. And I get those layers together, all together. And right now I want to brighten the eyes a bit. I'm just going to go with, I don't need the extra layer, adjustment layer curves. I get the curve. Hide this under the mask. Brush and just with the white brush get the eyes there too much get the eyes back then light it up perfect if it's too much i just can bring it down opacity and i get my brush in the five percent and i want to brighten up this side of the face a little bit perfect and here we go it's done. Look at my before and my after. Beautiful, beautiful color. And if you want to check my numbers, this H supposed to be somewhere between 20 and 25. 23, 25, 25. Our skin color is perfect. And after you, if you want, you can work on this little dark spot here, but this tutorial just about the color and how to get this perfect, beautiful skin color with this, uh, those simple, very simple uh, steps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye bye.